<laughs> How's that feel, huh? No, 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 that's not happening. Nope. Sorry. Hi guys, Flatmeister here. Oh, Flatmeister will remember this. You may always remember seeing that appear at the top corner and playing a Telltale game, making a, a big decision in the story. Uh, say what you want about Telltale's games. I know I did probably a year ago. I think it was when I first had Lord Nurgle and uh, Mildred the Monk on a uh, uh, first sort of live stream, sort of a chill out live stream. And uh, we briefly touched on Telltale games, and I think it was, I think it was Mildred, <laughs> Mildred the monk. Um, uh, he sh he showed his disdain for uh, for Telltale games. He went, oh, they're not proper games. And uh, a lot of other people say that that eh, it's not really a proper game. It's more like a it's a movie. But um, and some people say that oh your decisions don't really matter like the endings are pretty much most the same. I mean season two of The Walking Dead uh, it had multiple endings. I've not played I've not played season three. I didn't play the Michonne. There's still quite quite a lot of Telltale games that I've not played. But they've been they're most famous for doing really really compelling characters really great branching stories it's basically a choose your own adventure that, that telltale games are there you have dialogue options you have quick time events and you can explore your environment and then sort of further down in, in the later episodes like the choices you made earlier the relationships that you've built with certain characters and there's you know there's big character deaths depending on how you've played but unfortunately Telltale is no more and they started doing the final season of the the Telltale Walking Dead to finish up Clementine with the cute little girl that we remember from season one and seen her sort of mature and grow up and yeah no more they, they released uh, episode one of their final season about a month or so ago and they're releasing their second episode. So they basically cancelled all future projects. So they've cancelled season two of The Wolf Among Us. Which I played the first episode of of that. It was free. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I, I didn't realise that it was based off of a graphic novel called The, the Fable graphic novel series. Um, and yeah, Telltale is no more. And... Um, like more and more stuff I was a bit been quite behind on on this been quite behind on this thing but loads more stuff keeps coming out so they basically cancelled all projects they um, laid off like 250 odd members of staff like pff, that's a lot and uh, they didn't even pay them severance. and this is the big issue they haven't paid their staff a severance they're not paid them severance at all for laying them off. And now, with this uh, Polygon article, uh, actually doing some good work here, informing us that Telltale is hit with a class action lawsuit for breaking labour laws. And that's the problem with these these game developer studios in this crunch time. The, the publishers are too harsh on the developers. And with this whole crunch time culture, if you want to put it, but yeah, loads of staff have said, I've received no severance. Some people have had to go cross-country. Some people were hired literally a few weeks ago. So this is really bad from like a top management, um, from top management that they have not had their members of staff, they have not had their employees' best interests at heart. They've not said, look, we're going to be closing up soon. You guys need to start looking for a new job shortly you know we're giving you about a two month three month six month um notice we're giving you six months notice of of this that when we close down but they're closing down for bankruptcy 
And I'm going to try and end this with a sort of bad news and then some good. I'm going to end it with some good news. I, but I mean, with this, it's kind of tainted their whole um, their whole image, really. I mean, this is again mainly to blame is the top the the top management. They're to blame for this poor shit. So, um, te a former employee has uh, alleged that violated labour laws on the books in California and nationwide. And a complaint was filed Monday in federal court in San Francisco as a class action lawsuit submitted by Verney Roberts on behalf of himself and his fellow laid off workers. He goes, uh, let go of the employees without cause and without providing them with advance written notice as required by the WARN Act, which I'm not entirely sure that is in America what that what the WARN Act is. Presumably, when you are making someone, when you're letting someone go, you have to give them a certain amount of notice. Um. Again, some just statistics about layoffs and things. So, Robert's complaint says the total layoff is 275 employees. <sighs> Figure includes, appears to include layoffs that occurred on the 21st of September, which media reports pegged at about 250, as well as the skeleton crew of 25 that remains at the studio as it winds down operations. And um, laid off individuals are reportedly receiving health benefits only until the end of the month. And again, like, that's really shitty. What if these people work themselves to the bone? They're depressed or they're just literally physically exhausted from working 20 plus. And they have working 20 plus hour days, which is really tough on you. What if they then start becoming ill? Like, you know, you know their bodies have basically gone... Ugh. Oh great, I've got no health insurance. <laughs> Here we go. So under the WARN Act, businesses that undertake plant closings or mass layoffs with fewer than 60 days notice, advance notice are subject to significant financial penalties. Well, that's a bit bad if they're, uh, bang uh, you know, they're bankrupt. Rather than pay fines, the company must give affected employees back pay and benefits for each day of violation. Robert's complaint says Telltale gave no advance warning of the cuts, which would mean that Telltale would have to give each of the 275 employees salary and benefits for a full 60 days. If the plaintiffs win the lawsuit, that is. And they're also requesting a jury trial and are seeking to win the aforementioned compensation for the laid off employees. Reached out to Telltale, and then there's an update. So Telltale may be able to fight the lawsuit on the basis of the Federal Warn Act, but it will likely have a tougher time defending its actions according to California version of the law. And, um... See, it's not nice seeing... That <coughs> <coughs> it's not nice seeing people lose their jobs. Like, the quartering did a video with the whole, ooh, go, won't get broke, he said. Like, he said, oh, on one hand, I I don't mind disagreeing with you politically. And then he just, he then went to try and straw man the, oh, the company went under because look at the types of people they hire these SJWs with. And a lot of these people that have lost their jobs are going, I'm an SJW and... Or not saying that verbatim, but saying sort of typical stuff that a lot of social justice people write on their social media. But yeah, he tried to sort of paint it as, this is the reason why, Telltale, go won't get broke. We don't know that. I think this is just a mass failing of the head-ups of the, you know, the, the management. I mean... Yeah, there was one um, tweet in from one of the developers. They said something along the lines of, "Oh, I only want women uh, to apply for this job. Don't do, don't be an asshole like last time and apply if you're a guy." So yeah, that is discrimination, and presumably she is like some one of the top writers or top management 
that is involved in some of the hiring for narrative design or whichever. But yeah, quartering was Jeremy was trying to kind of straw man or oh, this is the reason why Telltale's fallen. But um the kind of positive is a lot of other game studios are supporting these game developers that have lost their jobs. Uh, Nick Monroe tweeted out, uh, I think I even retweeted, there's a load of game developers like, oh, I work in this department or that department. And he was tweeting out their handle and saying, this person, you know, hi them. All these people have lost their jobs. Studios, please help these people. And, and loads of studios have. They're like, we're looking to looking to hire some people so you know a lot of triple a studios and also uh, like some studios said oh we we will help with the development like to to finish off the walking dead story so to to finish up episodes three and four so like the voice work presumably is done they've just literally got to do all the rest of the the lip syncing and stuff like that and the you know creating the the rest of the gameplay I mean, some and, and this is my thing with telltale they never updated their engine only until recently with there's a spider up there <laughs> yeah only with like the recent like what batman the batman telltale batman games that they, they did a guardians of the galaxy one and that was the thing telltale seemed like they were struggling after the walking dead the season one of Walking Dead in 2012 and they didn't turn a profit and then it seemed like they were just taking on other other franchises Tales of the Borderlands was so awesome and that's the reason why I did that skit at the beginning right Tales of the Borderlands was so funny and so well written better writing than Andy Birch and Gearbox should pick up some of these developers or I hope that they implement some a lot of these characters from the Tales of the Borderlands into Borderlands 3. Because, uh, yeah, Tales of the Borderlands fits perfectly with Borderlands 2 and uh, Borderlands, uh, the pre sequel. It fits very well, sort of, in between uh, Borderlands 2 and then into Borderlands 3. So I keep an eye on that spider, has <laughs> caught my eye. And I hope, Ge I hope Gearbox becomes well they're a publisher they they do publishing for you know smaller um studios so i hope that they pick up some of these people and continue tales of the borderlands from gearbox so yeah that's the like take it as you will with the good news with studios wanting to help see clementine's story arc come to a close uh like how can you make it how can you what on earth like with financing and mismanagement like how irresponsible that is to wait until the last minute to tell your employees oh uh uh yeah you need to pack they literally gave staff 30 minutes to gather all their belongings from their office and kick them out of the building escort them out with by security like it's it's fucking awful it's it's bull utter bullcrap yeah so that's really sad that you know about 274 people laid off so you want to hear what you guys think tell me what you think about telltale and and their games were there ones that you enjoyed ones that you didn't ones that you really wish they did a, you know like a second or so series to um what do you think of this lawsuit do you think these people will win and and what do you think of the quartering with his sort of straw manning of oh that it's woke go woke get broke <laughs> I want to know that stuff so um, yeah write a comment down below tell me what you think of this uh, I'll catch you in the next video